Good morning, good morning, AG Farm family. It's AG Farms, all about God. Just uh, getting a feel for what I want to get done this week. And uh, I think I'm going to start back working on Emma. Boys, y'all come on. We're going we, 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 to show them what our amazing subscribers sent. Don't tell them. Don't tell them yet. Let's let it be a surprise. But uh, we have an amazing uh, IAG Farm YouTube channel family. And uh, you all sent amazing things. And uh, we put together something that we received a couple days ago, uh, yesterday evening. Uh, today is Monday, first start, first start of the week. And we're just getting a feel for the week. I think I'm actually working on some firewood today, even though it's 100 degrees out here in Mississippi. And uh, I'm going to take care of the animals. And I think I'm going to, like I say, saw some firewood and split some up. <clears throat> because uh, even though it's hot, you know, it'll be cold pretty soon in about a month or two. And I need to make sure that all my wood and things are dried out. So uh, I think we'll split some wood. And then we'll let the boys at the end of the day. I'll probably knock off early. And then supervise the boys with this right here. Swimming pool. For <laughs> real. It's amazing. It's a different style than we had before. And I think I like this one better because it doesn't have all those plastic pieces and things. What y'all think, boys? Yeah. Y'all like it? Yeah. 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 I just swimming pool got blowed over by a storm and it broke. That's right. Oh, it's over there. Bent. Mm -hmm. It's over there. Yeah, y'all want to go show them the old swimming pool? Yeah. Let's go show them. Let's show y'all what happened to the old swimming pool because some of you all, some of the newest subscribers, we, we, we call the new subscribers newbies. So if you just subscribe until you're subscribed for about five or six months, or we'll say this, until you've binge watched all the videos and caught up, you're a newbie. So, uh, yeah, but the oldies are the ones that have been here for a while and know all the context. And uh, so some of the newbies, I had to respond to certain comments, you know, explaining things. And sometimes I just link to a video, you know, to let you all know. But uh, some of you all were asking what happened to our old swimming pool. So let me turn you around and show you. All right, so here we go. Who, who, who want to talk about what happened? Yeah. Come stand in front of the camera and, and tell the, the IAG family what happened to this swimming pool. So. Take sunglasses off. Man ain't got no business talking with his sunglasses on. You're supposed to look a man in the eyes. Even though you're not looking in the eyes, you're looking... In the camera. Go ahead, buddy. There you go. Take them sunglasses off. Now, talk to us about what happened to this swimming pool. So, the first day we got in it, we had super fun. About a week, or I don't know how many years it was until that storm came. It was it was a tornado in this in this and. The swimming pool got blowed over. That's it right. was over over by, by the fencing that we put up. Mm -hmm. The storm That's blew right. over some trees too. So the, the swimming pool might have been all right, <laughs> but it blew over. And uh, the swimming pool was over here where this new one is at that you all blessed us with. And, and the tornado or the storm lifted it up and set it down over here. And then if you can see... My beloved fence, <laughs> the, the, I guess the swimming pool blew over here first, and then a big, the top of this tree blew out and fell on my fence. As you can see, this part of my fence is kind of loose. <laughs> I got to redo this part, but it's good because I only had to redo it to about there and just retighten it. But uh, this this big old limb here, sweet gum limb, and I'm going to try to use this firewood. I know sweet gum, I guess that's the beginning of the firewood video. <laughs> it's working out perfect. But uh, sweet gum... Is, is not the preferable firewood because they say it splits kind of grainy. It's hard to split. But uh, I think some of these logs, because my wood stove is pretty big. Y'all saw the wood stove in the other video. I can fit a lot of these logs hole in my wood stove. And uh, I'm going to try to split them. But if I can't split them, I think I can I can fit them in their hole. And uh, maybe they can work out for some night logs or something like that. Just throw them in, throw some little pieces around it. But uh, this limb, as you see, I cut it off. It fell over top of the fence. And as it was falling over top of the fence, it fell on the pool as well and crushed it. <laughs> so we had just bought the pool for the boys who were all excited and the limb fell down and crushed it. So you all kind of get an idea of the context of the storm shelter, <laughs> what happens to the swimming pool and all those things. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of storms that come through here during storm season. And that's why we have our, our, our storm shelter here. And uh, like I said, hopefully we never have to use this storm shelter. But if we needed this here, but uh, we're planning on having fun a little bit later. I might jump in with the boys, have a little fun because it's hot. And <laughs> I think I want to swim pool just as much as the boys do. But uh, yeah, so we, we filled it up last night. Got it filled up. We got to get this uh, this pump here uh, plugged in. And uh, the person that sent the part of our family, because we're all one, you know, they sent it. They also sent this uh, foot bath here. 
because uh you know when the kids are running around playing in the dirt and they get in the pool you know the pool gets so dirty because their feet are dirty and so you all actually sent us a foot bath <laughs> you, didn't, you thought of everything so we love it we love it we, we, we feel so loved by this community and we're so glad to be a part of it you know uh it's just all about god you know <laughs> but i'm gonna take care of these animals and i think i'm gonna fire my old echo chainsaw up and uh, like I said, I'm going to get back started on Emma probably tomorrow. I'm going to get started putting up trim. But I need a day just for meditation. <laughs> and working with firewood is my meditation. And so I'm going to work with firewood a little bit today. And uh, try to get some stacked up. I need to get some stacked up so it'll be good and dry. Once, uh, you know, just, get, just to get a good start. You know, get a good start to the firewood season. Because uh, it's hard when it's hot like this, you know, to, to cut firewood. But I enjoy it. But, you know, when it gets cold, it's really too late. Because uh, your wood need to be good and dry by then. So... Let's just see what we can get into today, y'all. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get, get done, knock off a little bit early, and then let the boys, supervise the boys while they're playing in the pool. And uh, y'all just follow us along for this journey today. It's all right, your phone. It's all about God. Well, 
up Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. Headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river bank, heard the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. Reckon I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score But if I ever get back home again I'll never own no To my soul. May not go better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and settled. All right, y'all, I've probably been splitting probably about less than 30 minutes. <laughs> and I'm not wanting to get too hot, but uh, I think it's a little bit too hot out here to be splitting wood right now. I told the boys that we might have to wait a little bit later to, uh, when, when, when there's a little bit of shade right here. What y'all think, boys? Yeah. So we can go swimming. Yeah, it might be too hot to go swimming right now because that, uh, <laughs> that's the thing about our property is that, uh, you know, it's not a lot of, a lot of shade around because it's like you have, you have trees, but sitting up under the trees is not really a good spots to sit at you know and uh, all the good spots to sit at are kind of like out in the open and uh also <laughs> in you know the, the the snakes pretty much when it's uh when it's hot like this they're looking for the shade as well so you know yeah so that's that's kind of kind of the thing out here with the shade you got to find shade where you can and uh we try to set the kids play areas up out in the open and not in the shady areas because like i said the snakes kind of get out there in the shady areas and try to cool down on hot days like this. But right now, it shouldn't be any snakes out. <laughs> they should all be off in the woods, you know, staying under leaves and, you know, in the dense brush. They shouldn't be out in these open pastures because it's just too hot and it hadn't rained in, whew, probably more than a month going on, four or five weeks now. But, yeah, I think we're going to shut it down for right now and then pick this pick this up a little bit later. Because uh, th this area right here where I had wood, it, it does get shade around about, 5 30 6 o'clock so i might get back out here at that time and uh yeah it'll probably be shady around the boys swim pool area at that time as well so we'll just pick y'all up a little bit later it's just too hot right now I, i'm gonna look up the, the the weather forecast and i'm gonna put put in right here how hot it is i'm gonna put in the temperature and the real feel <laughs> just to figure out how hot it is because i'm pretty sure the real feel is about 120 because it's hot it's super hot because usually like i say when it's 90 degrees 95 you know high 90s mid 90s I can split wood because I do it every year. Y'all, y'all who have been watching the channel for a while, y'all know that. But uh, when it gets gets hot like this, you just can't really do anything. Just just walk into the mailbox, <laughs> you break out and all that sweat. I need to take a break. But yeah, so 
I'm not gonna pass that out of here, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop right now. And like I said, I put the weather uh, in to let y'all know what the what the temperature is out here, and uh, so I can see myself too, because I had checked it myself. But we'll just pick y'all up a little bit later. All right, y'all, the boys and I are inside of Eminem, and uh, we want to conduct a little experiment, and we're just in here cooling down. You'd be surprised if one air condition uh, had to cool down this whole mobile home, as long as we keep the door closed, and uh, it cools it down until about three o'clock. Then it gets a little bit warm around three o'clock, but uh, for the rest of the day, except for around that three to five period, it gets a little warm, but all the rest of the day is cool, so. We're in here cooling down, getting a little bit of water, getting hydrated. And the boys and I had an experiment that we wanted to do. Because we want, one thing is I wanted to make sure that my wood that I'm, I'm cutting down, you know, the length of it is the right length for this wood stove. And also, we wanted to see how much wood <laughs> we can fit inside this wood stove because this is the biggest wood stove we've ever had, you know, as far as the firebox. And uh, I'm excited about like actually loading it up with wood and getting like some long burns out of it and not having to babysit it all day. So. We're gonna do a little bit of experiment here and see how much wood. We got a little stack of sun that we split here, some of this uh this white oak. And we're gonna see how much we can actually get in here. See how we just stuff it full. So let's see how much wood we can get in here while we're taking our break. Alright boys, y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all just stay with it. Alright, let's see. Get one piece in there. How many pieces do you think we're gonna be able to get in, Tim? Uh maybe like Six, six. Six. Yeah. Six. Six. Yeah, y'all can see. All right. That's three. Nine. On our second row, man. So we see now that we fit about 11 nice size logs in there, and it was pretty. It was pretty tight because, uh, <clears throat> like I said, those, those ones up top were hitting that the secondary air air tubes. But that's a nice amount of wood, and I think I'm actually cutting it about the right length. I think that's about about 16 inches, something like that, because this wood stove can fit up to 20 inch logs, but just comfortably. You know, I would say 16 inch logs. Cause uh like I said, you, you, you really want your logs. And I don't know I don't know about you all, but a lot of people load their wood stove going. I guess that's uh I don't know what way it is, we're going side to side. We like to load our wood stove with our wood going in like this. A lot of people load it like that, you know what I'm saying? Which this stove can handle either way. But you get your best airflow if you load it with the wood going that way. Because you see all those air spaces all through there, that's gonna make the wood, you know, burn good and efficient. See, if I was to put it down like that right there, you see there would be no air going underneath. You know, you can get it to burn like that, but we just found from, you know, five around five years of burning wood that it, it burns best like this. And also, you don't have that, that chance of wood rolling out, you know, because as, as you stack it up the other way, it wants to roll out towards you. And we actually had that happen before. Megan, uh, you know, had some wood in there, one rolled out like a log that was on fire. 
rolled out, had smoke detectors going off and everything. She about burnt the house down. But yeah, before we get too deep into splitting wood and cutting wood and harvesting firewood and getting it all stacked up, it's good to know that we have the right length. And uh, to know about what size, you know, because uh, like I said, this, this wood stove can fit some nice size logs. And uh, yeah, that's encouraging because I'm looking forward, like I said, to stuffing this thing at night, turning the air down, just getting the overnight burn, waking up early in the morning, fixing a pot of coffee <laughs> for real, and uh, you know, having a nice cold bed in there and firing the wood stove back up. And, Turning on some, some good YouTube videos or something like that. So it's amazing. I love it. All right, y'all, we're going to finish our break and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do after this because it's so hot out there. <laughs> As y'all saw, it's like 112 degrees real feel. But uh, out here, if you, that, 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 that's, that's really because uh, when I pull up Edwards, Mississippi, that's really like a long way from here <laughs> to the temperature that they're, they're going by because we're so far out in the country, there's really no weather report to, to go by for out here. I, I, I can almost guarantee you it's about 120 for real feel out here. It's probably way past the hundreds, probably more like 108. Because uh, a lot of times, because uh, the van, our minivan, has a, a thermometer on there, you know, on the dashboard where it tells you what the temperature is. And a lot of times I look up the temperature and it'll say, you know, for our town, for our city, it'll say 100 degrees. But when I look at the thermometer uh, on the van, it'll say more like 110 or something like that, you know, so it's always a little bit hotter out here. So I think me and the boys better stay in the air condition for a little while so we're gonna pass out for <laughs> it. And uh, drink us a little bit of water and wait till it cool off. So we'll just pick y'all up a little bit later. But we're excited about our wood stove and about we got the right size of the wood so we can just keep on rolling with it now. And what I'll probably do is just wake up early in the morning, cut a little bit of wood, late in the evening, cut a little bit of wood. And now that we're living on the farm and we don't have to go back and forth to the city, now maybe I can work my firewood you know, uh, in the winter time, you know, when it's cool in the fall and winter for the next year, you know, instead of having to work it on the summer. Yeah, because we have, we have to go back and forth so much. But anyway, we'll just pick y'all up in a minute. All right, y'all, just pull back up down the wood yard. And uh, it's probably about 5, five I got hiccups, sorry. <laughs> it's probably about 5.30. And uh, I'm going to try this again. It's probably still too hot, but the shade, as you can see, well, I don't see any shade. <laughs> Let's look at this way. But as you can see over here, it's some shade starting to come. So probably in about 30 minutes to an hour or so. Uh, I should have had some shade over here. And uh, I want to go ahead and get started back splitting so I can get something done. <clears throat> because of the boys, <clears throat> they want to uh, go swimming later on this evening. So I want to go ahead and work for about an hour. I probably set a timer to make sure I don't work too long because I get going and... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> These old hiccups. But because uh, I get going and won't even... I won't stop till nighttime for I get a good rhythm going. So I'm gonna set a time and I'm, I'm gonna split wheel for about an hour and then we'll go up here and we'll let the boys swim. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I got a good rhythm going now and I was just thinking as I was splitting wood I said they probably wonder why am I splitting wood by hand when I can just go buy or rent a log splitter and uh you know in Mississippi we it doesn't get too too cold it does get cold for about one or two months out of the year and so we only need about two or three cores of wood and I just feel you know it makes me feel good to be able to split all my wood by hand and that, that, that doesn't mean that we're not gonna get a wood splitter eventually you know a gas wood splitter eventually but for now you know, I just feel led to split it by hand, you know, and it's good exercise, you know, good for the heart, good for the for the blood, get the blood pumping and uh, keeps me healthy, you know, helps me get out a little bit of stress. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of anxiety, you know, stress reliever. It's like like going to the gym, you know, God's gym, God's nature. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah like i said just you know just a peace of mind you know just hearing the birds chirping hearing the bugs in the background and uh just being out here in the peace and quiet and just being able to all i hear is the swing in the wind of the axe or the, or, or the axe hitting the wind and then pushing through that wind to get to that log and then busting the log through you know with the with the power you know that god has given us you know and not uh instead of hearing the, the the buzzing of the gas generator or the gas log splitter and uh all those things so yeah it's just it's fun for right now like i said eventually we we'll, we'll probably we we'll probably are gonna get a a gas with splitter but for now i just enjoy doing it like this it's just peace like i said it's like meditation now. hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life on one of the Yeah, We might better stuff some down in there, but yeah, I think we should finish out that road. Yeah, I split a little bit more and we'll finish out that road and we took, took some off in there. Y'all good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll go down there and do some swimming. Yeah. Take another swimming party. That's right. What you think about that, Tim? Ready to do some swimming? Yeah. Y'all been eating ice cream already. I see it all over your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I can beat Tyson in the uh, holding your breath contest. Baby. We'll see. All right, y'all. It's about... All I can get done today, and uh, <laughs> it's funny because I thought it would be cooler, but me and the boys, we checked the forecast, and it's actually hotter now, even though it's shady out here now, than it was earlier, at least you know what the weather weather forecast says, it says 101 degrees now, earlier it was 99, but as you can see the boys and I, we have a load back here, and that's all it takes, you know, during the summer, like I say, just once in the morning, once in the evening, before the sun comes down, get about a load like this right here, and before you know it, you have it all split up. And uh, boy, we're ready to go swimming, right? Yeah! <laughs> so, yeah. This time I go jump in the swimming pool. But as you can see, we still have a nice little pile back here left. And like I said, we're just gonna work it down a little bit by little bit. Uh, you know, early in the morning, late in the evening, split a little bit, stack a little bit, and then we'll have enough to get us through winter eventually. But we're finna load up now, boys, and head on down and get in the swimming pool, right? Yes! Let's yes. do it. Get our swimming clothes on. <clears throat> Oh, right y'all toward the end of the day and uh we're finna get let the boys swim they're getting set up now ties it down they're getting mama to strap his uh swimming goggles together so he can put them on so he can dive in boaz is keeping me from bringing this wood because i'm gonna bag this wood in and dump it back there under that barn section back there because <clears throat> that's where we're, gonna, where we're gonna stack all our wood at 
is under that barn section. Eventually, that back part will be have a roof on it, and you know the the wood will be clear from the from the rain. You know we only had to cover it up, but for now we're just gonna put it on pallets and uh, you know put a covering over top of it. Yeah, but that's gonna be where we're gonna store our wood at for now. And uh, eventually, I'm gonna build a woodshed, just a tall like place where I can store a bunch of wood at for year, a year, you know, a few years worth of wood. Like I said, cause now I should be able to get caught up and get ahead, because we're living down on the farm now. Like I said, the past season, you know, uh, before we were living down here, we were, it was just so hectic and chaotic. You know, we're doing ministry in the city. We had ministry things on Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> for real. And it's just like every day, you know, we had a, a doorbell ministry where people could come and ring, ring our doorbell and get food, water, and clothing. We had a clothing shop. We had a food ministry. And so we had a bunch going on. You know, we didn't have any privacy. And so it's, it's a blessing now, you know, because uh, before we had a pool in the city. And if we would fill up that pool in the city on our ministry base, we would want the boys, you know, we just want to spend a little time with the boys. But, you know, all the kids from the neighborhood, you know, things like that, you know, they would see a, a pool being filled up and they would come over, you know, bring their footballs and play, which was a good thing. You know, we went in that season. But now we just want to, you know, sit before the Lord as a family and get filled back up from all of what we poured out and uh, just doing things like we did today, like splitting wood. You saw the boys stacking wood. Just doing things together as a family, you know, those are the things that, you know, we treasure, you know, because uh, we know that we're going to be able to burn this wood this winter, and it's going to keep us warm, and it's going to keep us relaxed, you know, because uh, even above being warm, I think the wood just kind of like creates this atmosphere, you know, this homely atmosphere, you know, we love it. So it looks like Tyus is coming now. I know he, no, he's right here below me. He's ready to roll. And I have him a little ladder here. Because uh, we had a little short like construction ladder, because the, the pool didn't come in any type of like ladder or steps or anything like that. And so I got this ladder right here, and they had a foot bath so they can wash their feet. They can step up on the ladder and then dive in. So let's see who's gonna go first. You ready, Titus? Yeah. Good old foot bath. Oh. All right, let's see this. You gonna jump in, or you just gonna kind of get in slow? Uh, I'm gonna start out like in this. I, I figured that. <laughs> I think you can just kind of like lean against the edge. Let's see. Yeah, you, you you can lean against the edge. If a little bit of water come out, it's fine. Yeah, just just go for it. Like there you go. Good job. What does it feel like? Good. It looks good. Feels good. Mm-hmm. You next no? Yeah. Foot bath. All right. I'm going to climb on in there, bud. Y'all have waited a long time for this. Thank you to the IAG farm family. You got it, buddy? Oh, yeah. Y'all get it. Yep. You don't worry about that little water come out. How's it feel, no? No. It should be a good temperature. Sitting out here in the sun all day. Oh, yeah. No. Is it cold? No. I don't even think it's cold. <laughs> it's almost hot. Yeah, it's not. You can boil cold. some eggs in there. Yeah, it, we would we would be like, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. What you think, Mama? <laughs> I'm just excited for the boys that they get to uh, have a pool again, and when it's a little bit more manageable for us to. Yeah, that one was just so big. Yeah, yeah we could we couldn't take it down. You couldn't hardly yeah. drain it. And this one here is easy to drain. You just put your foot on one side of the <laughs> the, the, the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because these things here. They, they just literally, you fill them up with air, and then they just float, and you can just push it down and drain all the water out. Mm-hmm. You gonna swim, Tyus? Or you gonna work towards that? You think you still know how to swim? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Look at you. Noah swim. Uh, Don't forget to hold your breath, Tyus. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, 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 get used to the water, you forgot to do your arms, but you did good. How did it feel? Good. Do 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 what, to me. What, what do y'all want to say to the subscriber that sent y'all this pool? Thank you. What about you, now? This. To the subscriber that sent us this pool, mm -hmm. what do you want to say? Thank you. That's right. There you go. And y'all may be wondering where it's ten. I see that it's like the the swimming pool water activated the ice cream uh, <laughs> <laughs> around that mouth. 
Yeah. I was thinking that farmer at the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they had they had we all had ice cream cones uh, a little bit earlier once Megan got back. And it, we didn't see it at first. It was just clear, but now that the water hits it. <laughs> I a little bit of stuff on their mouths. I was like, oh, their mouths are nasty. Man. Right. Oh, yeah. But always. they just had ice cream cones. Oh, that's so. right. That's right. <laughs> Y'all may be wondering where Tim is at. He got in trouble between us coming from down there on the wood lot to up here. Tim got in trouble. And so he, he he's in his room on punishment for right now. But uh, the other boys are getting a chance to enjoy it. And uh, maybe Tim will get his act together and he'll be able to, Tim Jr., he'll be able to enjoy it. Tomorrow as well. Boy, y'all look so good in there. No, you sitting down, eh? What you sitting on? Look at that. Like sitting on the seat. You got a seat. Is that the invisible chair? That's Look what it looks like. He crazy. All right, y'all. This is a beautiful thing to be able to see the kids in the pool. And uh, we had a hard day at work. And we're going to get back on Emma tomorrow. I actually might need to uh, make a run to Home Depot later on this evening once it gets dark and we settle the boys down. Because I need to get some things. This little, little strip for the trim to cover up a little, little little spot and i think we're gonna start putting trim around the windows uh tomorrow on emma so i'm looking forward to that we're gonna end today's video here it's ig farm <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next one little by little piece by piece i take back what's been stolen from me little by little piece by piece until i'm complete